today we'll take a look at the, well, both the Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom figure and the Netflix Walmart exclusive figure. Uh, so the colors on the Netflix one were just way too good for me not to buy. And I liked the way they did his legs uh, a little bit better. I didn't like all the blue that he's got. Plus, this is like a baby blue. This is more metallic blue. And I'll show that when I get them closer. The yellows are actually different too. This is more, this is a darker yellow. This is a brighter yellow. Uh, I feel like this is kind of also more of a pale yellow. One of the things you will notice, and I don't usually do this, is um, the Hasbro mainline figure does have my 3D printable um, Cheetor gut gun, affectionately known to others as the Cheater Peter. You'll see why in a minute. Um, he, he, he's just, it's one of the few things that I painted, so I left it with him. It doesn't look great, but I don't paint, I print. So let's take a look at these guys a little bit here. So you'll see there are some color differences. Uh, the blue here is much darker. The tail is not painted on the end. The blue is lighter, but the tail's painted. The cheetah itself, this one has orange eyes. This one has green eyes. Um, so let's transform them and see how they look. Uh, well, actually, articulation-wise. Uh, there's some things I don't like about this figure. So you get your arms go in and out. They move around a lot. They've got a lot of articulation here. Rotation, swivels. But you are a little bit hindered by the back. I feel like he doesn't... He can, but it pushes the back out. And it's, to me, it's a little bit annoying when you're playing with him. But it makes sense. There we go. You do not get ankle... Oh, wait, you do get ankle tilts. He'll pick up. His little crotch piece will move around. He can't kick back. Hits on that. Um, I guess maybe you can, no, you really, you just can't do it. So he's a little bit hindered. Um, it kind of annoys me that this is bent all the way back like this. I wish this had a couple of segments to it that I'm not going to make before anybody asks. Um, I, but I wish it did have some segments to it so that maybe this could curve forward or even just be straight. And take a look. Focus. Some of the differences. And let's take a look at him in cheetah mode. Alright, so here we have them in cheetah mode. And um, you'll see the Netflix version actually cleans up a little bit better because there isn't as much blue. And you don't get the blue on the back of the legs like you do with the mainline one. Um, and I, I really do like the colors of the Netflix one better. It's one of the few uh, Netflix versions that I think I like better. Uh, with the exception of, uh, there's one other one that's kind of a, a hit or miss, but I'll make a video about that some other time. So you've got really good articulation in the arms. This one moves, you can pose him, you can open his mouth, um, his head doesn't turn or anything like that. Uh, there is one thing on every one of these that I've seen so far where this little pin right here will end up just getting broken off. The other one, it's completely gone. This one, it just broke um, because I've actually never transformed this one. I didn't bother. I got him out of the box and I set him up because I had already seen it in this one. Uh, so yes, he does have his gun. It does make what uh, some people have referred to affectionately as the Cheater Peter. Anyway, <laughs> here they are in Cheetah mode. And it's a, it's a really good little bot. You know, it's not like Rhinox. It moves. It's not a brick. It has really good articulation. He like said, you know, you get the mouth, you get the, you get the ball joints on the feet, the feet. I mean, uh, the legs, the legs have a lot of really good articulation. The tail doesn't move, but that's fine. It still looks really good. Um, as far as the paint on the individual ones go, the paint, like the polka dots, I've stared at this, are exactly the same, but these show up better because they're on that darker background. It's just, it's got to be the same black. I doubt they have a different shade of black running, but it does look really good. You get those green eyes, the orange eyes. One of these will probably stay in cheetah mode and the other one will 
stay in robot mode. I just don't know which one yet because this one cleans up better, but I like that that blue better in robot mode. Um, whereas this one, I actually do like how it's the, the brighter yellow for the cheetah mode. The, I do like how that looks. And if he's facing the front, you can't see the blue. So who knows? All right, let's get some scale going on because we all like scale. Here's how he scales with Optimus Primal, Air Razor, and I can't find Rat Trap, but they're the same size, so I'm gonna put him there and pretend that's Rat Trap. And let's go with a dinosaur. Not the one you think. Let's go with him. Stand. Maybe another dinosaur. What do you think? You want to do another dinosaur? Let's do another dinosaur. Oh, no! Interrupting dinosaur. All right, that was stupid, but it was funny. It's funny to me. That's what's important. So here's how he scales with everybody else. Um, not everybody else, of course. So wait, hold on. Let me get the the worst transformer of this entire line out here so you can see how that looks. That's enough. Ah, no, there it is. I love this bot. I'll do a review on that some other time. Rhinox can kiss my ass. So, that is Kingdom Cheetor. Uh, one of the Beast Wars figures brought back. Hopefully we see a lot more of the Beast Wars figures. I'm hoping to see some Transmetals. Um, that would be really cool. I actually like Transmetal uh, 2 Cheetor. Transmetal 2 Cheetor is friggin' awesome. I have one somewhere in a box. I was going to bring it out for this, but I couldn't find it. Uh, so, if you get a chance... I know I still see the Netflix toys occasionally up, and Walmart.com sometimes has them on clearance. Like, uh, the Netflix Red Alert just went on clearance for $10 a piece. So I didn't have that one, so I, I picked that one up. And um, the Netflix repaints really aren't that bad, especially if you can get them cheap. Uh, paying full price for them, most of them, I don't know. This one, yes. That one was definitely worth full price. But, like, I'm not picking up the Netflix Primal or any of the other Netflix-specific ones, really. Well, except Deep Cover. I have Deep Cover. I have both versions of Deep Cover. That's a different video. So, uh... Yeah, if you get a chance to find them, get them. Uh, color choice is up to you. I kind of recommend just get both of them. So, uh, yeah, don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe. And YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. And see you later.